Today we are going to be finding out how well a Mick team can do in the NHL. The original comment was Mick Mac, but I decided to go one step further and make an only Mick team. Hopefully I'm not missing any players, by the way. I think I did a pretty good job of getting everybody I could. Obviously the Mac would give it a boost because you got Nate. Need I say more? 81 overall doesn't look very good. Alright, I will give you that. But, we do have Connor McDusty. So, instantly, sort of makes that 81 look a little bit better. I didn't change any of the team colors or anything like that because, to be honest with you, I just couldn't care less. And we're probably not going to see them in their unis anyway. There was no Mick locations, so I just went with Moncton. So it's the Moncton Mick team. If anybody does care, this is the sweater that they're going to be rocking at home and the one they will be wearing away. It's not good, okay? Don't have to tell me twice. I did not touch arena or mascot, so we're not gonna go in there, but roster, we certainly will be viewing our team. And what a hot start it is with 97 overall, Connor Mick. We also have a great defenseman here in Charlie McAvoy. And then we go McCann, McDonough, McTavish. We do have some good players, but one main issue is that our best goalie is McIntyre, who is 75 overall. Could be a bit of an issue. Definitely. And our backup is not going to be much help. I tried to grab every single NHL and AHL Mick I could. And then on top of that, I had to do some research actually to get, I think it was our backup goalie. Yeah. McNiven? Right. I had to go to the ECHL for this lad. Simply for the sake of fairness, I'm going to randomize a team that we're taking out here. So we get the Ottawa Senators leaving the league, who also do not have ADB anymore. They do have Tarasenko, however. The latest roster update's not here. I could go get the online ones, but not doing that right now. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna download this roster and hope for the best. Newsflash, I can't merge this roster with my current custom one, so I am simply not going to do that. It was a valiant effort, though. Season mode? Let's go ahead. Oh, no. What team did I get for random again? Ottawa. That's why the whole thing that just happened happened. I'm going to turn off CPU trades. Doesn't matter what the difficulty is, which I think only applies to us anyway. I don't know why a computer trying to trade a computer. Anyway, sorry Ottawa, but you have been voted off the island. And coming in will be the Moncton Mick team. At 81 overall, are we the worst team in the league? I want to say most likely yes. We're tied with Chicago, only one worse than Arizona, but we have one thing that they don't. And that is Connor McDavo. Alrighty then, let's go ahead, start the season, and put these lines together. 79 overall on the first line is not great, alright? I will agree with you there, but we do have Connor playing with Jared. Now that is solid. The second line for this team is less than ideal. We've got McMichael with McTavish and McLeod, which, you know what? It's not terrible. Good, no but also not terrible. Let's have a look at the defensemen. We've got McDonough and McAvoy. That is huge. Lots of abilities there. Then we got McCabe and McNabb, and then McWard and McIsaac. It's not the worst thing in the world. The top two is very nice. And in nets, we've got Zane McIntyre backed up by Michael McNiven. That could be an issue. Let's see how many wins we could get. And depending on how this goes, I might try to add in the max as well. Not even going to stop at the trade deadline. There's no point. I am going for an absolute Hail Mary here all the way past the season. Because like I said, there's no point. Why would we stop for anything? We can't make trades anywho. It's not great. We just passed 11 wins. Or sorry, just got two 11 wins. Back to back there. And then we go on a bit of a losing streak. Can we just not finish last in the league? I would consider that to be very impressive, personally. Post-trade deadline time. Two-game win streak, followed by a massive loss streak. Come back with a win there against the Bruins, but yeah, obviously playoffs aren't happening. We should be able to get to 30 wins, though. Or not. Yeah, let's just stop at 29. That's exactly what I wanted. The Colorado Avalanche won the Stanley Cup, so I think that right there is enough proof that we need to add the max to the team. Oh, apparently we did get to 30 wins. That's huge. And we beat the Red Wings. Let's go. We also beat out the Philadelphia Flyers. And we were right on the tail of the Seattle Kraken. I'm just seeing if we can improve our goalie situation, and there is no way that there is a netminder by the name of Drew McIntyre. McDavid got up to 73 points. That's pretty good. Charlie McAvoy was 62. 
Did he have a lot of ice time? Can you see that here? 25 minutes. Zane, I'm just gonna go out there and say, hopefully you tried your best. You got an 892. McNiven did a little bit better, but he did only play 28 games. I'll just go through the awards for fun, in case anybody wants to see who won what. Wow! The Art Heart Combo. Not a thing in this season simulation. So I'll go back through the NHL teams real quick and try to add the max. Which I think, yeah, we might get a few players, but for the most part, it's Nathan. And last but not least, your playoff tree. Just in case you cared. Okay, that would be nice, but it doesn't count because it's got to go to the uppercase. You know what I mean? I don't know when he retired, but having Curtis McElhaney would have helped big time. I'll add McDermott. I don't think he'll make the team. Maybe he will. All right, so far we've added McDonald, McEwen, McDermott, and McKinnon. I'm gonna just scrape the AHL real quick. And then we will try again. All right, so apparently we didn't already have Greg McKegg, which by the way, insane name. And then I also added McEachern. Let's run it back. We're up to 84 overall. This has essentially become a how hard can McDavid and McKinnon carry video. And let's find out which team we are removing this time. It is the Flow Rider Panthers. All right, substitute team, and in comes the 84 overall. Mix Squadrant. Wow, that's a very nice logo you have there. Just like a little apostrophe. Okay, let's get this started 2.0. Nice, we've got McTavish up on the first line with... I'm just gonna start ignoring the Mick. With David and Kinnan. <laughs> it just sounds so weird. And then we have Can playing with Gin and Michael. Kewin and Kekrin made the squad. So that's good to see. Defensively, we've got McDonald. Okay. Sorry, I meant to say Donald. Nothing changed here. Let's see if we can beat 30 wins. We should be able to. Although, you just never know. Now do ya? It's a bit of a better start, I can't lie. Oh my word, are we good? Are we just good now that we have Nate? Uh, no. Newsflash, we're not. That was a massive loss streak right there. You hate to see it. We came out of the gate flying. But we ran out of gas real quick. Definitely gonna pass 30 wins though, because we have... Well, I mean, we could get to 29 here. We do. 29 at the deadline, and we get 30 on the deadline day. So we have the whole post-trade deadline to add some dubs on top of that. If I hear the word deadline one more time, Colorado gets their hands on another Stanley Cup. Unfortunately, we couldn't get as many wins as regulation losses. That would have been nice, but we were short by one. Still beat Detroit, though. Colorado also won the President's Trophy, so... This just in, they are insane. That is the lowest I have ever seen. 26? How trash was the Central Division? Hold on. Let's see here. 79 points. They finished 36, 39. It's all... Wow. That is an all-time low. Yeah, we got shafted. Look at this. We finished 25th. We should have been in. These are all the teams below us. So, not terrible. David and Kinnett both put up 90 points. McAvoy, sometimes I'm going to say it, sometimes I'm not. He put up 75. Can put up 61 and Tavish 51. Not bad. No surprises here, hopefully, anyway. But the goalies did not get the job done. Both sub-900 save percentages. Vitek Vanacek had a season. A 921 and 44 wins. Bucky's right there as well. Defensively, Hedman led the lead with 86 points. Oh, wait. Yes, it was our McAvoy. And Overchicken had 64 goals and 100 points. Nuts. Here be the trophies, the team awards. Obviously, Colorado cleaned up. And let's go through the individual trophies. Not our McDavid, but once again, the Art Heart is split. That was a pretty fun experiment, though. The Mick Mac team. I'm glad that we tried with just Mick first. Saw how that did, and then added the max after. This is how the playoff tree went down. And I just want to thank you for that video idea. If you guys have other video ideas, leave it in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, boom, hit the thumbs up button. And do you guys remember when there was like a five-star system on YouTube? Am I just showing my age? Anyways, I appreciate you. If you could subscribe, that'd be sick. And I will see you most likely soon.